This is Joel 2, verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. <clears throat> and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. First and foremost, I'm going to give all the glory and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. By Shemar Kakadash to, to um, the bonds of the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Shout out once to the whole free lake men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity, right? And shout out once to a few, few, few sisters, right? That's taking heed and getting in order in these last days. And the brother, I'm one coming to the video, Lord willing, it's edifying and to the point, right? But going to this video of from what the brother um out there in KC, you know, had uploaded, you know, going to what um, Keisha has, what uh, a vision. You know, and it all just for, like like the Lord just said, you know, hey, these, these men, these women, these old men, these younger women are going to have visions. And what, hey, we're going to grab hold of those true servants of the Lord, going to grab hold of those videos. And we're going to discern it the correct way. You know, we're going to add the scriptures right behind it. You know, but, um, you know, without ado, I'm going to go ahead and just roll inside the video and replay it afterwards and, you know, and, and pull the precepts together. Right, and like the brother had just said, hey, it ain't like if it happens, it's gonna happen. <clears throat> it's gonna happen, and then I know she also mentioned uh, about the kids, right? And and really, the only kids that we need is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Because this time it's gonna come. This this vision, you know, this dream she having is pretty heavy, you know, and it's crazy that she's saying her and her son, you know, and they had to see help inside the uh. <laughs> They had to see up inside their hand. You know, and the scriptures talk about, hey, um, woe to the women that give suck in those days. I'm going to grab that after this, right? But, um, you know, um, validating the point of we will need, uh, that kid will be, um, this was not a truth and understanding. That's what we're going to truly need in the end, right? Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure. Right, so we're not gonna be out here scattering around trying to see. Well, I'm gonna need this one shit to fan. I'm gonna need this one when shit to fan. You know, all you need is these scriptures to rely on. You know, cause when all hell, all hell breaks loose, you know, you may not be around. Um, <clears throat> you may not be around. You may not have access to those things. You know, but you still gotta stay patient, right? But um, let me grab the other scripture right quick. 
<clears throat> you gotta say, um, it's like I don't say you gotta stay patient and wait for you. How about you might try to lead you to the, your, your next source, right? Um, dang, can you think of it, man? Okay, I'm gonna just go back to the video and, um, and th now I'm gonna just go back to it and, and I'm gonna just, you know, stop it and, and, and speak on it. I it just hit me. Salakia. Uh -huh. Matthew chapter 24. <laughs> right? Time of 70 AD. It says, hey, nothing noble under the sun will be inside our time as well. Right? Matthew 24, verse 19. And woe unto them that are with child. And to them that give suck in those days, right? Especially these women, these single women, right? You don't have no head and you got all these kids with you, man. And hey, that's not going to be the perfect time to be pretty much in sight, man. You know, you don't have no type of hedge or protection, you know? I um, said, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Hey, women are going to be able to maneuver. <clears throat> Especially in the one with all these kids, man. You know, but back to the back to the video. <laughs> stop right there because hey what, what we do know right um <clears throat> matter of fact um we know this right here will come you won't be able to buy the other tray unless you have this device uh revelation 13 and we'll start at um search straight to the point verse 16 and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a M-A-R to the K in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M-A-R-K, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Right? Going to this beast system that we've been, you know, uh, approaching to. Right? You won't be able to maneuver without having this device. Um, matter of fact. Uh, when you're going inside that word, uh, Mark, let's get it. <clears throat> let's see what we get. All right, goes into Karagma, right? A stamp and imprint and mark. Let's go down to the strong definition. It says as a badge of servitude, right? A, scr a scratch or etching, right? Because, hey, you have to um, um, get a new badge, right? And that badge going to be that, that uh, device. It's like that badge going to be that device. <clears throat> and let's go down to it. Um, you go into the root word of karagma, which is going to karax, you know, goes into the syringe. And you're going to the root word of uh, Karat, going to the word of Greek word grapple with all your medical information that, man. All right? So we already know this is right here. Is, um, this vision is right, right? We already know what the vision is going into. It's like the um, the, um, the MO to the TV. All right? Um, let me go back to the book of Habakkuk. <clears throat> We are definitely in that time where they're going to be having a lot of visions and the mature in the Lord are going to be breaking them down the correct way, right? Because this is, this is at hand, right? We, we, really at, we are at hand for a lot of things to pop off. Um, Habakkuk 2 verse 1, I was standing upon my watch and would set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he would say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that... 
It's like that he may run that read of it. And that's what we do. Like, we're making it plain upon tables. Probably we're breaking the sister down, breaking the sister dream down, you know, to the T, right? Know exactly what she's talking about, right? And also just breaking the, the, um, the scriptures down of Revelation 13 and 16 through 18 on down, breaking it to the T, letting you know about the judgments of what's to happen, you know, that he may run that read of it. You know, make you want to turn around, right? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right? She's, you know, she's saying that she'll know this may happen. You know, hey, we know that it will happen. This vision is for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. Right? And we've seen how things are um, um, gravitating towards it. Right? It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right? Not the, the, the Lord's not the author of confusion. Hey, these visions, these visions, these prophecies are going to come to pass. Mm. So going back to what I just you know brought out in 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 the blue letter, you know that scratching or etching, right, as a badge of servitude, right, you had to have a a small device inside the skin. You got to pierce through the skin, right, and you got to go to these certain these key fob um share things, and, and you got to wave your wrist. You got to wave your wrist around, you know, uh, over it to um get access. You know, and I must say, you know, hey, we we eat the meat and spit out the bones, you know, because we know we come to a time where we are gonna be inside concentration camps, and it's to what, to 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 um um great hour temptation, really make you come back if if you um inside one of those is to make you come out with with uh that carago inside your um your body, um your wrist or your forehead. <laughs> like I said earlier, hey, it ain't like we know it's gonna happen, you know. And if, you know, you to have dreams that you already, you know, chipped up. Hey, man, you might want to be repenting, man. You know, cause that's a heavy dream to you know be on the other end of Yahabashim Yahusha, right? Cause quickly, right? We know the judgment for the ones that do take that sea up, right? Um, Revelation fourteen in verse nine. Right, and the third angel followed me, saying with a loud voice, "If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his M A R K in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb." Right, so Yahweh by Shemuel Shah gonna come down with that great wrath, man. No matter if you're a child or not, right? And I'm gonna grab that. You know, because hey, you don't have that um that mark of exemption, right? And she's saying that you you, you took that uh karagma, you know. Well, inside the dream, yeah, you had the karagma, you know, and your son, you're having dreams, you know. Uh, well, he's attached to you, you know, especially if you're not doing the work, right? And I'm gonna just grab that and I'm gonna close out with that. Ezekiel 9 verse 4, right? Because the Lord is not going to spare it all. <clears throat> and the Lord and the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark. Now, this mark right here is, is a different type of mark, right? It's going to a mark of the exemption. It says, And set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Matter of fact, just let me pull it up in the blue letter. Or for edification's sake, um, Ezekiel 9 and verse 4. All right, because these are two different marks, which a lot of people still need help on understanding. All right, so let's get the word for it right quick. Strong's H 8420. 
right? It says mark as a sign of exemption, right? From the Lord. Right? Um I just want to get some definition right quick. It's not giving me a good definition. All right, anyway, let me go back. Oh, shit. Anyway, exemption from ju um from judgment, right? So pretty much, so like it, so pretty much, you know, you have that, you have that um hedge over you, you know, when the Lord make His rounds, you know. And that's all it was. So let me go back. Um. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye go ye after him through the city and smite, right going to what? Kill. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man that whom is the mark. Right, and begin in my sanctuary, then they be then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Right, just just in case in point, right, but um come that judgment come, they come um to everyone that does not have that thawa, right? The th uh, the thaw, you know, that is up for judgment. Right, um let me finish off this video. Some type of like stage of a world war, or I'm hey, she, she, my family finished the rest of it. I don't know. Something, basically, something where it's gonna be us versus the Chinese. And, uh, and we've seen that right now, right? And like so she said, she's she, um, having dreams about uh, pretty much um, war, world war, and also civil war, right? And we know that's gonna come up this year. Right, we know that's coming up this year, especially with these, especially with these uh, elections coming. You know, you already got things brewed up against Israel and um, Palestine. Um, Palestine. You know, we have things brewed up inside of America. You know, you got the Trump, you got the Biden. You know, you got the you got the Israelis over here. You got the Palestinian folks over here too, right? So we know things are gonna brew up over here, man. We know these things are gonna happen. That second half is fifteen, right? So kind, of, so you know, I'm gonna end it off on that, right? You know, Keisha, it's the brother said Keisha has a dream of, of mass chipping, right? So we know that's coming down the pipeline, right? But it says for the business yet from the point of time, but the end shall speak and not lie, right? I'm gonna close up by giving all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Krakadash. Next time, Shalom.